The concept of enantiodromia, a term coined by the ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus, refers to the process by which something becomes its opposite. In the context of psychology, it was adopted by Carl Jung to describe the phenomenon wherein the superabundance of any force inevitably produces its opposite. This concept is particularly resonant in the discussion of trauma and transformation, where the overwhelming experiences of deep psychological pain can catalyze a profound shift or reversal towards healing and renewal. In his psychological framework, Jung used enantiodromia to explain how extreme one-sidedness in a person's psyche could lead to the emergence of compensatory qualities. This happens as part of the psyche's natural regulation, striving for balance and wholeness. For example, extreme repression of emotions might eventually lead to an uncontrolled outburst of these suppressed feelings. In the therapeutic setting, particularly in the treatment of trauma, Enantiodromia can manifest as a sudden and radical shift in one's psychological state from a period of stagnation and suffering to one of transformation and insight. Trauma disrupts the psyche profoundly, often leading individuals into a state of despair, disconnection and disorientation. The traumatic experience, characterized by its intensity and capacity to overwhelm an individual's coping mechanisms, creates a psychological extremity According to Jungian theory, when the psyche is flooded with negative, destructive energies to such an extent, the conditions become ripe for enantiodromia. The very depth of despair may activate an opposite, compensatory movement towards psychological integration and healing. This reversal is not a simplistic return to a pre-trauma state, but involves the emergence of new understandings, capabilities, and a more complex identity. It signifies a deep transformation where the person not only recovers but also evolves, incorporating their trauma into a broadened self-concept. Jung's concept of enantiodromia emphasizes the role of the unconscious in facilitating these transformative shifts. Often, what is repressed or ignored in the conscious mind continues to exert influence from the shadows of the unconscious. In cases of unresolved trauma, Symptoms like flashbacks, nightmares, or somatic pains persist as the trauma remains active in the psychic background, pushing for recognition and integration. The process of enantiodromia may begin within these depths of the unconscious, where the psyche's inherent tendency towards equilibrium motivates a reconciliation of opposites. This might manifest as an unexpected breakthrough in therapy, a sudden insight, or a spontaneous emotional release marking the beginning of a healing process that integrates previously disavowed or unknown parts of the self. In trauma therapy, enantiodromia can be a therapeutic goal, facilitating the transformation of trauma-induced psychological patterns into a more balanced state. Therapists might encourage this process through techniques that promote the integration of traumatic memories, such as eye movement desensitization and reprocessing thematic experiencing or Jungian shadow work. These methods help uncover and work through the opposing forces within the psyche, bringing light to dark areas, giving voice to silence, movement to stagnation, and consciousness to what has been unconscious. For instance, a person who has been extremely controlled and rigid as a means to cope with past trauma might, through therapy, begin to explore and integrate more spontaneous and expressive aspects of their personality, here, the extreme control gives way to its opposite, as the individual learns to embrace vulnerability and spontaneity, which are necessary for emotional healing and genuine human connection. The healing potential of enantiodromia lies in its capacity to liberate individuals from the confines of their trauma-imposed narratives. By moving towards their opposites, individuals can find a more nuanced and balanced approach to life. This doesn't mean that the trauma is erased or its impact negated, Rather, the trauma is transformed from a defining anchor into one part of a multifaceted story of survival and growth. However, enantiodromia should not be seen as an automatic or inevitable outcome in trauma therapy. It requires careful facilitation and a supportive therapeutic environment, as the shift towards the opposite can sometimes be destabilizing or re-traumatizing if not properly managed. The therapist must be sensitive to the timing and readiness of the individual to handle such shifts, ensuring that the process of embracing opposites is gradual and integrated within the individual's capacity to assimilate change.